Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asad Yaqub and once again I welcome you to breaking news for 17th August IELTS test. Many of you say why you call it breaking news. Breaking news means those who are taking their IELTS test the next day they should be alert and active and they must watch this video. That's why I name it breaking news and even if you are not taking IELTS test tomorrow just impose a sort of emergency on you that tomorrow is my IELTS test and try to feel the way you will feel when you actually have your IELTS test tomorrow. Anyways guys today is 16th of August and this is beautiful month right tomorrow is 17th August you have your IELTS test being an elder being your teacher being your guide right I'm here to say goodbye to you I'm here to send you right I'm here to give you what do you say my ashirwad so that you go and I'm, I'm here to give you my blessings so that you guys perform well let me tell you one thing if you are terrified if you are petrified about IELTS test tomorrow don't be terrified it's just only a test it's just only a test don't be afraid don't just say oh my god I have my IELTS test tomorrow tomorrow this time I'll be sitting in my IELTS test tomorrow this time I'll be doing listening don't do that I'll kill you right yeah don't do that don't do that just relax calm down Today is 16th August, you have your IELTS test tomorrow and take it light and say let's see what happens. I have seen many videos of Asad sir, I have seen review video, I have seen uh, a prediction video of Asad sir, so I'm confident. So you need that confidence. Believe me, if you are ready to face the challenges of life, you can achieve everything. Challenges are endless, challenges are numberless, challenges are countless and every challenge brings you the good news. It's up to you. If you face the challenge like this, then the challenge will bring you good news. And if you face the challenge like this, then the challenge is going to run over you and at the end you will be finished. So you're going to face the challenges like this. The wind of challenges is blowing. The storm of challenges is blowing and you are standing like this. I'll take this storm because I know after this there is comfort in my life. After this there is success in my life. So there is one challenge waiting for you tomorrow and that is called IELTS. Happy? Good. Relax. Calm down. I mean don't think too much that there is going to be something negative again in the last uh, when there was the test on 10th August I said this to my students that your protection from distraction is very 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 important I'm telling this to you today is 16th of August tomorrow is 17th from today your protection from distraction is very important what is distraction any negative feeling for example, your friend is also taking IELTS and he tells you, I read on, I saw on a video on YouTube and they were saying tomorrow's test is going to be very difficult and you, oh, what will happen? This is a distraction. Don't listen to any distraction. Don't just listen to, there should be a protection shield all around you and that shield is your positive thoughts and your talk back. Now what is talk back? Your friend calls you and tells you, I watched a video on YouTube and, and there was somebody saying tomorrow's test is very difficult. Just say to that friend, to that idea, to this very thought, shut up. That's it. Thought is finished. Idea is gone. There is nothing now. Okay, so you need to give shut up call and this is how your protection from the distraction is going to be possible just listen to positive things right so you got the test when you go for your test be happy try to go with someone this will give you more confidence try to go with your family members right you can go with your father mother brother sister or even a friend can wait for you outside for three to four hours so go with them this will give you more confidence don't go alone try to go with someone and even if you go alone I am with you guys come on come on I am with you yes 
I'm going to be here. I'm going to be your hands solving the test. I'm going to be your eyes reading, scanning, skimming and all that. I'm going to be your brain the way I taught you because I am your teacher and the teacher dwells inside the students. I'm going to dwell inside you. You will not be walking to the examination hall. Asad Yaqub will be walking with you. Asad Yaqub's smile is going to be on your face and you're going to behave like Asad Yaqub, think like Asad Yaqub, take IELTS test like Asad Yaqub and you're going to get fantastic band score. So you are not alone. Feeling good now? Still feeling bad? I'll just take you, okay? All right. Now, when you go for the test, listening test will start. You got to be confident. Just read the questions carefully. Read the questions, listen to the audio, find the answers and believe me, there's another thing, please cut yourself off from your surrounding. When you are taking your IELTS test, I mean all the modules, do not look around, do not look here and there. Ah, who is that girl in gorgeous sari? Who is that girl in skirt? Who is that handsome boy? All gorgeous and handsome are usually ending up in 4 band or 4.5 band, okay? Some people take IELTS test as an opportunity to show, right? Once I asked one of my students, are you ready to take your IELTS test? She said, yes, I'm half ready. I said, what do you mean by I'm half ready? She said, I've got my new dress for reading, listening and writing. I just need to order my dress for speaking. Then I'm ready for IELTS test. Look at that. So those gorgeous ladies and handsome gentlemen in good attire and all that just ignore them i mean you're going to get better you're going to get something better afterwards once you get good band score in ielts i mean if you are a girl there are many handsome boys waiting for you once you get good band score and if you are a boy there are many opportunities guys okay don't worry so you need to focus your test again i would say your protection from distraction in IELTS examination room is essential, very essential. A little distraction wastes your one to two minutes. And imagine if this distraction is there in reading. You know, some people have a habit to look around, right? And somebody raises the hand and say, ah, he wants to go to the loo. Oh, you mind your own business. Do you also want to go to the loo? No. I didn't drink water since morning. So then why? I mean, you are taking care of everybody that he wants to go to the loo. Now he's thirsty. He's drinking water. I'm sure after one hour, he will also go to the loo. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you, you should not think like that. Again, protection from distraction. Mind your own business. Focus your own test. Read your questions and just imagine you are all alone. Make everything blur. Now, for example, I made this camera blur. Uh, make everything blur around you. Focus your... And believe me, if you just mind your own business, focus your own test, even the invigilators will not notice you. They only take notice when you're doing something wrong. When you're looking at somebody's paper, when you're looking here and there, you're turning your head here and there, then they notice you. Otherwise, if you don't do anything wrong, I mean, you are not going to be noticed and no, uh, there, there should not be any, any scuffle or anything with the invigilators and try not to notice you. Uh, don't let them notice you and you mind your own business. Then the reading test will start. After listening, take long deep breaths, okay, and be prepared for anything that, I mean, for example, if their audio system doesn't work, they start reading first. No worries, I'll take reading first, then I'll take listening. No worries at all. Okay, then after listening, there'll be the reading test. Read all the questions carefully. Read the passage and do not judge yourself during the test. Do not say, ah, you're doing reading. In listening, I would be able to get seven band. No, not seven, maybe 6.5. Don't do that. That's not time. That's not you to decide. That's the examiner to decide. Your job is to focus your reading test. Now, it's not that you are doing reading test and listening is in your mind. Ah, 29 question number answer was door or window. I wrote door. Or win I mean, this is how you guys confuse yourself and this is another distraction and you need your protection from the distraction. Once reading test is over, read all the questions carefully, read the passage and do not even look here and there for a second. Just focus your test. Yeah, in order to relax your eyes, you can just look and then come back. And if you've got the eyesight problem, I have noticed one thing. 
even if you don't wear eyesight eyeglasses if you don't have eyesight problem uh, you can you can bring your reading glasses i have noticed this thing when you wear the reading glasses everything is so clear on the passages especially in reading uh, module everything is so clear so you must see and i would recommend you that you can just you can ask anyone who's got the reading glasses and try to do one test while wearing the reading glasses the passage will look bigger the font or the text will look bigger and you'll be able to do it easily this is a new tip which i'm sharing so you can try and if you get any success please send me a message on whatsapp i'm interested i want to know and then writing read task two topic first start thinking about it that i have to write an essay after this and this is the topic and then task one you can start with task one try to do task one in 15 minutes and spend most time on task two just task one analyze the topic just see what is minimum what is maximum what is increasing what is decreasing what is the most significant what is least significant and all that stuff and then write a good report introduction overview and body and then for essay try to use the best of your vocabulary good phrases good sentences write essay thoughtfully do not just i mean you are you're scribbling or you are just scratching the words and all that stuff just try to write thoughtfully and try to make good sentences good words good connecting sentences that just imagine you are writing this essay for a reader and the reader is going to give you a prize for that so come up with new ideas and do not try to impose good words in your essay without any purpose or the words are irrelevant but you're trying to impose the words in the essay that will bring you more harm than good i'm warning you again so once the test is over walk outside the examination hall like a king walk like someone who is going to get seven band or eight triple seven or six each overall 6.5 and all that i mean when you walk outside the examination when you walk in the examination room you have to program your mind that from this test from this day from this environment from this place i am going to end up getting my desired band score program your mind take the test and then say okay that's done and i'm fully optimist and i i i'm uh, fully hopeful i'm positive right that i'm going to get my desired band from this test now and it's going to happen once you come out everything is going to be fine for you and i truly wish you all the best i wish you a very very successful ielts test and i wish you your desired band score rather a little more than your desired band score and once you get the result you must inform me about that you must send me your review messages and i will make video for those who are appearing in ielts after that thank you very much if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel believe me guys now i'm feeling some pain over here but my excitement my enthusiasm my passion for you is never gone it is still with me i want to i want to wish you i want to pray for you i want to do a lot for you and you also i mean the way i am serious with you if you guys are half serious with you you will be able to get your desired band score so if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe my channel i run another channel sir yakub vlogs you can subscribe to that as well i also teach ielts online if you want to join my online ielts classes my whatsapp number is given you can contact me for that asad yakub with uh, uh, with a sore throat and hurting head right with headache wishes you all the best all the best and may you get your desired band score and guys do something in life do something and ielts is the main thing once you achieve ielts you will see many doors will open ielts is like sim sim you know alibaba 40 thieves and all that there used to be a story so open sim sim it's going to be something like that take good care of yourselves all the best once again allah hafiz